guys welcome to another video today's video we have a month of October favorite some of my favorite makeup products that I have that I have been using for basically the whole month of October so I wanted to share with you guys because I enjoy this these because I enjoy this makeup so much <laughs> so if you want to see how I got this look all the products I used, all of that good stuff make sure you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye okay guys I started off with my Juvia's Place eye prep eye prime number two eyeshadow base I basically use that for the whole month of October love this base so glad I found it in my stash I've been wearing it since I found it next up I'm taking the matte about hue ColourPop eyeshadow palette you all know I try to use one palette when I'm doing tutorials so it's no different today I'm using this same one palette so I took the shade Tada and it's not the darkest purple on there it's the second from the darkest purple so I'm taking that and putting that directly in my crease and my transition area this is what I use as a transition color and also somewhat of my crease color I'm taking my wet and wild blending brush you all know I get this from Target for 98.99 cents I usually purchase all they have on the shelf if I see them in stock I love this brush this is one of my top five favorite eyeshadow brushes so I'm taking that and I'm just blending out the edges so that my edges are not harsh and um this palette I just been loving this palette loving this palette so now I took the deepest shade in there which is fun 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 still in the purple family we stuck to that one row in this palette which was full of purples so I'm taking that and putting that directly in my outer V just to give me some depth some definition to darken up my outer V without it being black so I wanted to stick with purple <laughs> I had this look in my head and I was not going to stop until I completed this look I don't know why I'm like that but once I have a vision like I gotta complete it so anyways I'm taking my wet and wild brush just making sure everything is blended and then I'll take my eye prep eye prime again and then put that in the open area that's on my list only because I knew that I was going in with a very light shade and I wanted to really make sure that that light shade pop probably 90% of the time I do my eyeshadow the same way like sometimes I'll switch it up no particular reason I just do it just because but yeah so I'm just basically not a cut crease or anything just making sure I grab all of that open lid space and then I'm going to take my same brush and feather those two colors together so that harsh line right there isn't you know there I needed to feather see I needed to feather that to make like a smooth transition between colors when I first started doing eyeshadow psh, I know I didn't blend anything out I know I know I know <laughs> but now I'm learning and growing with eyeshadow so yeah so I'm just blending those two out before I actually go lay the lid shade and the lid shade today is called let me see do or die dye so i'm taking that which it was a lilac purple a very light light purple this is one of my favorite colors also this in a dark purple love it absolutely love it that's what was so good about this palette like it had all of my favorite colors in it and they're matte i love a good matte eyeshadow don't get me wrong i like my glitters and all of that but matte takes the cake every time so i'm just basically packing that on and i really had to pack it on it wasn't chalky and you all know that pastel colors can tend to be somewhat chalky but as you can see it wasn't chalky at all so I took my blender brush again this eyeshadow thing is basically blending 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 until your arms fall off that's all I can really say about it just blend away drop down and let me know if eyeshadow is easy for you to do or if eyeshadow is hard for you to do I'm getting to the point where it's kind of easy but I won't speak too fast too soon you know how that go so I'm just blending the colors 
and making sure everything is cohesive with a random Amazon brushes. Y'all know my brush, all my brushes be cheap. Okay guys, now that the eyeshadow part is out the way, you all know I have to do a voiceover for that so that I can concentrate. Let's jump into the primers. I've been using this for the last two, if not three weeks, and it's the YSL uh, Blurring Primer. And this is the silver one, which is the hydrating one. I said I wanted to pick up the gold. The gold is the matte one. But let me finish this first because no matter how much I use it, it's still full. And excuse me if I sound congested because I am. So that's why I've been missing lately because allergies and all of that. So, yeah, I finally started feeling a little better today. So I'm like, I need to get up, move around, and record. And what best video to do than... Uh, makeup that I have been using for the month of October. So yeah, I, I enjoy this primer because it's so smooth and it blurs my pores just like it says it does. And it doesn't cause my makeup to break, break up throughout the day or crack or smudge or I feel like it stops it from transferring too. I don't know why, but every time I use this primer, no matter what foundation I use, it lasts they're all, all day without transferring. Y'all remember like old school makeup? Like it was pretty, but whenever you used it, it would transfer onto everything. Like your collar, your shirt, if you had on a turtleneck, whatever you touched or brushed up against, it would transfer. Makeup today has come a long way because I don't think most um, foundations does, does that nowadays. So the next one is this MAC Skin Refine Zone primer and this right here just blurs my pores some more <laughs> so I usually take this and just put this in my t-zone because and it's mattifying also so <clears throat> this right here just helps with the all it doesn't like control it control that I'm still going to get all the throughout the end of my day but it's a natural oil it's not like greasy like slick like a grease ball it's a natural oil so i'm okay with that okay next up is mac paint pot and groundwork you all know i picked that up during the mac sale when it was like 30 percent off or something so i've been using this lately it's a little darker than my laying low one of my subscribers told me mac has an even darker one so i'm going to try that one if they have like a holiday sale i'll try that one it just helps i mean you could use either one of it one of them but it just helps like if it's a little darker like if you don't blend your foundation out all the way or you like rushing you don't have to worry about white marks like right around your mouth just in case if you didn't blend out all the way at least you got a flesh tone paint pot so yeah and i just use my finger to warm it up next up i've been loving the heck when i say the heck the heck out of this i want to pick up another one but i'm trying to use what i have and not be crazy with it but it's the mac studio sculpt in nc50 it has spf 15. i've been using it more toward light and medium because as you can see what side is it i got some dark marks right there but it doesn't bother me but you can build this up I try to shake it a little bit first. You can build this up to full coverage if you like. It sits so beautiful on the skin. So, and you only need a little bit. It sits so nice on the skin. And you see, I just take my finger. Put some dots on there. 
and we're good to go. Then I spray with my bear with me first. You don't have to, but. And, oh, hmm. I think this is the altar. Yeah, this is a little altar brush I'm gonna use to blend it out. The Sephora sale is currently going on right now. I have some stuff in my cart, but <laughs> I won't hit buy for nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I won't hit buy. I'm like, I'm really trying to make sure I got everything that I really want in the cart. So I don't have to do like multiple orders. But y'all see how luminous my skin is? It's like a healthy glow. And I need it because the way I've been sick, I know it's dry. My skin feels so dry. And right there where the little dark mark is, I could put a little bit more to see what it do. I got a mirror. I'm trying to look. What am I looking at? I got a mirror. <laughs> Take the end of the sponge. This is where I just look out to be. Yeah. This sponge is dry too. I went back to using my Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer in Deep Honey 100. So I went back to using that one. I tell y'all I rotate. I just use a random products. But I fell back in love with this one. So I've been using it mainly for the whole month of October. It's so lightweight and creamy. Someone told me that this reminds them of the NARS Radiant um, Concealer, but that's one concealer that I have never tried. Don't know why either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know this is the part where I usually try to clean up my eyeshadow too. Glitter is fine on your eyeshadow. You know, glitter and sparkles, but to me, nothing beats a good matte um, eyeshadow. <laughs> Especially if it's one of my... Um, Brown shades? Oh, wow. And let's get to blending. Let me spray it because this sponge is not stale. I'm too lazy to go with it. This concealer could be lightweight. It could be full coverage. Whatever you like. This depends on your preference. But I love the way it blends so effortlessly. And I think the shade, the highlight shade is perfect for me. Let's get the blender out the contour. And 
I'm going in circular motions. Next up is the Laura Mercier, the original translucent. I prefer this one over the honey one. The honey one? I don't know. I keep saying I'm going to revisit it because, of course, I have the big, huge um, container of it. And I need to try to use it. I'm going to try to use it again because it could be at a point. I brought it at a point in my life where I really didn't know what I was doing with makeup. So, yeah, I'm going to try it again. So, I'm just using this to set my concealer this right here is the original lightweight not not heavy um powder like very finely milled at one point that's all you heard was laura mercier laura mercier <laughs> now i don't know what you hear now i don't know like a setting powder that everyone is talking about now I push it in a little bit and then I bake a little bit. For bronzer, I have been absolutely going crazy with this Moonlight Beach Matte Bronzer from ColourPop. First of all, it's huge. It's affordable. And I feel like it's deep, but I use a light hand with it and I believe that it's perfect for me. So I go very light handed with it. Just to set that contour and give me some color to my face. <laughs> Yeah, I know I'm not blushy blushy, but where is it? I know it's on here somewhere. Uh, that's it. For the last two weeks, I've been using this uh, MAC Ambering Rose Blush. Of course, I don't think it's no longer available. One of my subscribers told me that, but I have had this for centuries. So, yeah, <laughs> for centuries, now it's to find me a blush Brush. I probably use the same bronzer brush, brush angle metal. Okay. And for powder, I revisited my Mac. Um, student, what is it? Skin finish? Let me tell y'all what it is right now. Yeah, I know I can't remember. Something waste in my little makeup pouch. I don't know what that was. Okay. Um, dark deep mineralized skin finish in F12. So I purchased this when it was on sale also. Fell back in love with it. Only because it's a not really heavy. And you know, if especially if you feel like your foundation is already doing the work for you. You just want something to set everything all together and not like add extra coverage. And that's mainly me all day, every day. Okay, I put some of the Juvia's place on the bottom. And then I'm going to take the shade I put in my transition. Oh, crease. Ta-da. I'm going to take this one and put that down there. Only one. I'm only doing one today. I 
need to get a brush. I was about to use the same brush. I'm a person that uses the same brush for everything. Like, could you please just pick up another brush? You got a million of them. It's not going to kill you to... Use another brush. Oh, I feel way better today. And it could be the seasons are changing. But one day here in Georgia, it might be 40. You wake up and it's 40. And then by 12 o'clock, it's 80, you know. <laughs> so you kind of really don't know how to dress. I took the dark shade and fun, fun, fun on the outer part. For lips, I've been wearing out my MAC lip liner and chestnut. Yeah, it's plenty of brown lip liners out there, but nothing beats chestnut ever. I don't know. It's just something about it. So I use this Morphe lip gloss in Mars. I had to delete some footage off my thing. Brush my eyebrows into place. They always get off track. And spray. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. This is the completed look using some of my favorite products from the month of October. And what more can I say? Matt, I'm leaning toward, well, I guess it depends on the day and the mood I'm in. Some days I want to be radiant with glitter eyeshadow. Some days I want to be matte with matte eyeshadow. So it just depends on the day. But love 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 this YSL primer and the Sephora sale is going on now so you can pick it up it depending on what you are at Sephora and you can get a good sale price on this the ColourPop palette you know ColourPop always has a coupon that you could use always has a sale going on love that so drop down in the comments and let me know what some of your favorite makeup products are now and maybe I have them Maybe I don't. <laughs> yeah, but this is the completed look. You know, the eye look. I always try to match my eyes with my shirt sometimes. I don't know why I do that, but yeah. So I think I'm getting so much better with the blending part because it was one point in my life that I never wanted to blend. I just wanted the shadows to magically um, go on the way I wanted them to go on. So yeah, we're getting there. But yeah, love the foundation too. We'll go on all day if I sit here and talk to you guys. But yeah, this foundation, definitely around the holidays when MAC has another sale. I'm going to pick up another tube of this because that's just how much I enjoy this foundation. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.